I'm Gary Chrisman, the Molecular Segment Manager for the East Coast for Camfield. I'm here in Washington, North Carolina today to talk about a molecular solution that we put in place for the City of Washington here at the 5th and Respus Pumping Station. And to talk about that solution is Mr. Adam Waters. Adam is the Public Works Director for the City of Washington. Hey Adam. Hey Gary. Welcome. Thank you. Adam, can you tell us a little bit about the situation here? First of all, explain to us what a pump station is, and then what was the problem that you were having that Camfield could help with? Well, a pump station uh, pumps wastewater from this location to a waste treatment plant across town. The problem that we were having is when this station was built, it was built as a contained pump station. That meaning that all the water and the air and gas is contained within that pump station. What was happening is that gas was coming up through the electrical system and was causing corrosion in the electrical components of the pump station. And that gas being hydrogen sulfide. That's right. Not only is it a corrosive, it's a hazard to health. So now, did you have people that were working inside this facility? Yes, we have an operator that comes in here four or five times a week, and he's working, performing maintenance, doing checks, read-ups, and we noticed after the unit was installed a, a tremendous increase in the air quality. That's fantastic, because clean air is a human right. Yes. That's what we like to say at Camfield. When we provided a solution in order to get there, what we had to do was we had to install a, a piece of equipment to monitor the gas that you had in there room and ISA check too. We took some readings for some period of time, sent them back to our chemist, he took a look at what we had and we sized the solution for you. Now before we could install the solution we had to do a little preparation to the room and to the building. Can you just give us a real quick overview of what we had to do? Sure. We had to seal the room off, make it a little, a little more airtight. We created a duct system that actually drew air from the outside and brought it in through the cleaner and then exhausted it into the room, thus pressurizing the room, creating a positive displacement pressure. So that hydrogen sulfide couldn't make its way up out of the, out of the wet well into the room. That's correct. Fantastic. Well, how about we go inside and take a look? All right, let's go. Thank you, Adam. Gary, yeah, we're inside the control panel for the pump station now, and we have variable frequency drives over on this side of the room, and this is the control panel that we had the issues with. So, Adam, how much does a control panel like this generally cost? To replace this control panel was about $30,000. So we really want to make sure that this is taken care of. Absolutely. We have some before and after pictures that we can show to show what the corrosion was doing. Inside the control panel, can we have a look to see what it looks like today? Sure. Adam, the first thing I, I see that, that catches my attention is all this red wire. Can you help explain the red wire and why that's significant? Absolutely. That's, that's a good point, Gary. All this red wire that you see now in this control panel, it was brown in the old control panel. That was because the hydrogen sulfide gas had gotten into this panel and changed the color in, of this wire. What that also did is everywhere you see a red wire connected to a piece of equipment here was a copper wire. Those copper wires had corroded in two in a lot of places. Thus, why we had to replace the entire panel. That's fantastic. I'm glad it's protecting the, the piece of equipment and the people that are inside. When, when we took the sample readings to understand the corrosive gas inside the environment, we, we placed an isocheck tube right here in the bottom. That's right. So that it would, it would pick up the corrosive gas. So we took it out, we did the examination of the samples and, and the data that it had collected. We sized the system to match this room and the corrosive gas that was in it. And what we presented to you was a cam cleaner, a thousand CFM unit that had pre-filters, molecular filters, and post filters. Those molecular filters are acids H2S media. And what that is, that's a specifically designed media for this type of application. Pump stations, wastewater treatment. It reacts a whole lot better with that gas than potassium permanganate. And I hope it served you well over the years. It served us great so far. You can tell just by looking in this panel what it's doing. Great. I know you got some team members with you today that are fixing to change out a filter or two. Can we watch them do that? Sure, let's step over here. All right. I'm Kate Woolard, 
Department of Water Resources Superintendent for the City of Washington. I'm Ronnie Water, Operations Supervisor for Water and Wastewater for the City of Washington. We're here to demonstrate how to change out the media on the CC1000 unit. So Ronnie's going to open it up. In the bottom, we have a MERV 14 free filter. And at the top, we have a MERV 11 post filter. They've already been changed. And the cylinders are an acid H2S um, canister, a media. And Lonnie's going to demonstrate how to change those out. And they're very simple to change. You just count it counterclockwise just a little bit, which unlocks it. You've got three line-up tabs as well as a gasket for sealing it off. Set it to the side. Pick up the new one. Make sure your tabs line up. Put it in, turn it clockwise. Adam, thank you for letting us come by today and visit with you and your team here at the 5th and Restless Pumping Station and talk about the Campaigner 1000. Gary, it's been a pleasure working with Campfield and your staff. We really appreciate everything you've done. Thank you very much, Adam. For those of you that have joined us, we appreciate you watching for a few minutes and sharing this experience with us. Please visit us at campfield.com or send us an email at sales-wa at campfield.com. Thank you.